Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and it appears that Brock Lesnar has now failed two drug tests. So let's get into that because we're going to discuss what it appears he may have been popped for, uh, as well as another little side thing. Because what has apparently happened, and there seems to be some confusion on this because I've, I've read a couple different things from some different sources, and it appears because of some possible violation that the UFC or the drug testing had as far as not notifying him correctly between the tests, that he might only get one penalty, one infraction against him for failing to test. Now, I'm not sure if that's actually the case or not, but it'll be interesting if that is the case because it kind of shows what we've known for years and years, that there is always politics, corruption, and money revolving around drug testing in sports. Always has been, always will be. Now, what is it that he was supposedly popped for? Well, there hasn't been an official release, but there have been unofficial releases from several sources naming the same substance. He was popped for supposedly clomidifene citrate. Now, some people are saying, hey, why would he be popped for that? Why is that banned? That's not a performance enhancing drug. It's not an anabolic agent. And some people have said, hey, that's an estrogen blocker. Actually, it's not an estrogen blocker. It is a selective estrogen receptor modulator, also known as a CIRM. You guys can go look up yourselves kind of what that means or several different uh, purposes of those. This one, however, in men actually only has a couple of purposes medically. Number one, it's a fertility drug for boosting sperm count. So if, if he was taking it for that purpose, he's trying to get his girl pregnant as part of a fertility treatment, but he would also have been told by his doctor who's prescribing it, hey, this is a banned substance on your list. You shouldn't be taking this if you're drug tested. Hopefully his doctor would have told him that. The far more likely reason is the reason almost all athletes utilize this substance. It is part of a PCT protocol or post-cycle therapy. People who go on uh, anabolic steroids or testosterone of any type, the one of the the single most common side effect is, of course, suppression of your natural production of these hormones of testosterone. And this is one of the substances that's utilized in conjunction with others to boost your production back up after you come off of them. So it's indicative, and in the case of an athlete who tests positive for it, it is almost a probability. It's almost an absolute certainty that they have recently, within the last four to six weeks, that they have come off of uh, some sort of androgen or anabolic steroid. It is almost indicative of that because that would be the primary reason they would use it as an immediate treatment immediately after coming off to help mitigate that side effect and to get their body's natural production back up. So it would be considered a sign of guilt that he had just recently been on and had come off and therefore he didn't test positive for anything he had previously been on. He tested positive for a substance used to regulate his body and get it back to normal function shortly after coming off of those substances. And that's the reason this substance is actually banned by WADA because this is the known reason why athletes uh, utilize this substance for this purpose. So it, it's indicative of use also even if the other substances were not detected. So for anyone who's wondering why would an athlete have taken this, why could he have tested positive for this, there's your answer. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.